leaves are also very high in calcium, very high in protein. It's amazing how many leaves are high in protein. Um, pass it around, but just I would recommend tying a very little bit. No one has any excuse for saying I don't know how to identify a nettle, and I've given you two things you can do with it. Well, we've been out and we've seen a small selection of edible wild plants. Um, We've seen a lovely salad leaf called chickweed. We've seen nettles, which we can use as green, so I was also talking to people about how they can use it raw as a pesto. Um, we've also seen a very interesting mustardy spice called garlic mustard, and uh, the seeds of that are just mature at the moment, so people can collect them, use them uh, just like mustard seeds in cooking, or even just grind them up and make their own uh, uh, luxurious garlic mustard um, condiment to use at home. Yeah, people often ask me how I got started with all this. Um, my grandfather took me out when I was about six and um, took me to a little bit of woodland um, where there were some wild mushrooms and we found two particular species that were just fascinating. Well it's very thrilling to have so many people at a festival showing interest in this subject um, but I also think it's great for them to you know do something that isn't theoretical because we've we've taken them out and they've actually found some plants. I saw people going back to pick some chickweed, which I think they're going to have for their supper. Um, and um, so that's it. You know, you've got some knowledge that you can immediately put into practice and go home and eat something wild before the day is out.